la Harvard. Spune într-un interviu în premieră pentru Digi24 că este posibil să fi găsit doveze ale vieții extraterestre în univers. Le va dezvălui în curând când va publica un studiu complet pe această temă. Cercetătorul susține că este posibil ca niște fragmente de meteorit recuperate din Oceanul Pacific ar putea fi, de fapt, rămășițele unei nave trimise de o altă civilizație. La fel cum a făcut și omenirea în anii 70 când a lansat sondele Voyager. The first object from outside the solar system was uh, detected by US government uh, satellites back uh, in 2014. It was a meteor, an object half a meter in size that collided with Earth and exploded about uh, 20 kilometers over the Pacific Ocean. Uh, what was special about it is it was moving very fast. In fact, if you were to extrapolate um, It, it turns out that it came from outside the solar system and it was moving at 60 kilometers per second. It had material strength much tougher than all the space rocks that are familiar to us. Uh, all of 272 of them that were cataloged by NASA over the past decade. So that raised the possibility that maybe it is uh, like a spacecraft, like Voyager that we sent out of the solar system that could collide with another planet outside the solar system Uh, in a few billion years and appear like a meteor uh, if the planet looks like Earth. And uh, the question is whether this object was indeed manufactured by another technological civilization. To find out, we went to the Pacific Ocean, to the location of the fireball from the meteor, and amazingly, we retrieved tiny um, pellets, uh, basically uh, molten droplets from the surface of the object when it was exposed to the immense heat uh, from the fireball that was created as it was moving through air. We are studying the composition. And the first uh, uh, question is whether the elements that make up the, this object uh, had a different set of abundances than uh, solar system materials. And the, the second question is whether they were, they provide a smoking gun uh, for a technological origin. We um, have some very interesting results. We know that the speed of this object was so high that it must have uh, arrived from outside the solar system, but we want to check the composition and see if it's different from solar system materials, because the entire solar system was made of one gas cloud that had very similar abundances of elements because it was enriched by the same exploding star. But if you bring an object from a very distant region, uh, that region was enriched by a completely different exploding star and the abundances of elements and radioactive isotopes would be different. The age of the material would be different. This object was able to sustain the stress from the air Uh, to much higher values than all the space rocks. And it maintained its integrity all the way down to the lower atmosphere of the Earth. From that, we know that it was tougher than even iron meteorites. So it's really puzzling. Why would the first interstellar object be tougher than all the space rocks that we know about? I think it's arrogant of us to believe that we are the smartest that we are alone, uh, that Albert Einstein was the smartest scientist who ever lived since the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, uh, primarily because there are hundreds of uh, billions of planets similar to Earth near a star similar to the Sun in the Milky Way galaxy alone.